by doing something a little bit different now. I sort of outline a strategy that is quite narrow, but uh, it's sort of a general one to help players, uh, newer players, to get into the game and sort of have a baseline that they then you can use to uh, iterate and improve and you know change stuff later but uh, I think this should probably get you a win most of the time at curse one I mean so here's the thing we I I separated it into the building strategy and some other tactics and the, the building strategy is quite simple we're gonna play in a raid and heck those actually uh, if it says mitigate damage you click on it when you're selecting cards if it deals damage and mitigates click on it more often because it, it essentially follows number one but also does something else uh, at every regroup until the last one in floor two we're just gonna upgrade every time then we prefer non-base card upgrades uh, because we will most likely hit some basic anyways. Some point uh, we go this is raid, we go W parry so we get extra charges, uh, and we upgrade parries over strikes. And if we hit it in all strikes, we go for the knockback. Then at scavengers, we prefer upgrades until we hit floor two. So uh, yeah, pretty much. So it's a little bit different than the regroup one. It's like um, we don't do it on the last regroup. We do it on for the entire floor one, and then we switch to removals and companionship levels. Uh, when removing cards, we are going to remove the strikes over the parties every time. And for AQs, we're going to go sustain first, like hazard prevention, even life force parasite. Uh, I think those are the only two, though. Are there more? I guess hazard prevention. If, if you see a hazard prevention, you click on it. Otherwise, if we prefer block uh, AQs, then we go damage control and then other effects. Uh, for the both security rewards, we just uh, care about pulse, nothing else. And then we go uh, retribution equals damage. Just, just so we're clear in that uh, when I say it, if it deals damage. And then weakness equals guard too. And guard removal, we treat that as draw. Uh, for battle tactics, we do not skip any elites, so I guess this is tactics and selecting the fights. It's like, don't skip any elites, when selecting starting tactics, we prefer pulse and block over draw every time. I mean, sometimes it makes... Again, this is just a baseline, right? Uh, in fights with reinforcements, we do not kill multiple enemies in the same turn. And then we treat the counter as two potential free turns. So essentially, we're gonna try to hold on to the counter uh, if we full block. We don't care that we're narrated. And then there are certain fights that have a particular kill order because of the way um, uh, yeah, because the, the way they play. And it's gonna I guess we're gonna have to align those. Uh, I'm just gonna uh, do the ones that we encounter here, but you know later on I'll, I guess I'll, I'll pin some more. So. And then uh, yeah, it's it's kind of obvious, but sometimes newer players forget that you can delay counter by just playing the seal cards. And yep. And also you can just take into account that you have seal cards, so you can have the counter ready. Because the idea is we want to have the counter available if we need it, and but not use it unless we need to use it. So yeah, there needs to be a balance there. And I'm just going to switch to the... the game and we're gonna say uh oh I should have mentioned uh we, we're going one call because uh makes things simpler and yeah we're just gonna go no course so i just want to test this one out i'm pretty sure this strategy gets you wins in curse 10 as well but uh you need a more nuanced approach over there so yeah we're gonna go hectos hectos is just a simple one you got quite quite a good set and generally I mean if you reach level five you're you're golden. Like the other ones are fantastic, but you know 
this this is the the target that we want. Uh, I guess that level four may change a little bit the way we treat counter because uh, this is Z nice scaling, but other than that, we just go. All right. So the first two fights are always the same. The only thing that changes is the order. Um, We didn't say anything about better rewards, but yeah, you can click on better rewards, in, especially in the first two fights. And there is it. Okay, this one has a kill order. If you see a raging ground, you generally want to kill it first. Because, uh, um, yeah, it, he shows up in fights where you have um, multiple enemies. So we're gonna go with the Ravens, kill it, and then go party and party. And we, you know, almost have the counter ready to go. Yeah, for example, here. It. Okay, so we could counter, but I'd rather hold on to it by doing this. Because the claw always, always melees, so. Like now, the counter just means, I mean, I didn't have to counter, but the counter just means that we get this turn is free and then the next one is probably free as well. These are the resources. We didn't get, we weren't gonna get hit anyways, but eh. uh, we follow the rules. It says guard, none of, none of this says guard, and so we go for it. Obviously, we, you have multiple things to, that say guard, well, you, you have to figure out which one. Uh, okay, pulse and draw. Oh, I didn't mention heal, but I guess you can... Hmm. I mean, heal is the better option here. I'm just gonna go high down anyways. Let's follow the advice. It's gonna be the challenging part here. Just like... Kill that guy. It's the raining ground. They said that the raining ground goes first. Uh... Okay, so yeah, now countering makes sense because actually no, we can just delay it. This says well, this says block, but if you hit the upgrade, I guess that in the stage is better because it blocks at some point. Now scaling correction is pretty good too, so but yeah, we're just following them. Here you go, you got removal, increased component shipper, and anti which is quite a nice package, but uh, this says upgrade, so we go for upgrades. Um, yeah, this is draw. Uh, yeah, draw and damage have the same priority, but uh, this damage does damage and draws, so. And there are other stuff with the. and potentially blocks because you draw. So we get upgrades, non-base over base, and this one, uh, we're gonna go for 5 and 5, it's 10 block overall, it's pretty nice. Hit upgrade, again, we go for these things, now, it's early enough where the 0 might make sense, but I like the, the counter. And getting, uh, getting some damage, we're gonna treat this as damage, so I think it's worth it. Yep, we don't skip elites. 
Uh, in this one, you want to kill the, the ads first. So it, it has a kill order too. Uh, okay, so this out of the family is actually blocking for 5. If we move forward there, right, because of the aim, so it makes more sense. And we, we quite like getting the two seal here. Ouch. Alright, so... Yeah. We're gonna have to hurry up a little bit, I guess. This... These guys are healing. Stage. I'm gonna have to hit though and take the damage because my waste is gonna take forever. <sighs> we hit you. Block. Block, block, hit. Get the counter ready to go. Ouch. Got it. There's no way to delay the counter here, so we're just gonna max out how much we do. Yeah, we're gonna have to hit. Um, hmm. It would do quite a bit of damage. This this fight is the hardest one for Aegis, but right, so we said we prefer like generally here I would go for blind justices, but all of them are good, but we said we go for mitigation, so we go for mitigation. So damage mitigation, so yeah. That's actually quite right. Right, so I Yes, I didn't mention this. If you see something that gives you two stuff or one stuff, but with you know more choice, we go for two stuff. So we remove one strike, get one anti quorums, some momentum, which is a pretty decent early early anti quorum, so it's an energy anti quorum. Uh, one out of three injectors or healing for ten. Hmm. I'm gonna go Injector, it doesn't matter that much. Uh, we're gonna go Gideon Mitigation. 15, 21. So we're gonna hit for 21. Set up. Or hit. Set up. Right, yeah, because uh, we have that. No. That's cool. Uh, yeah, we draw here and get extra stuff here hmm. we can hit this killing it and do this encounter because uh, this oil is only only those melee, uh, sorry, only those um, range attacks, so. Mm. 
should probably kill this guy first. Oh, I think that was a corruption. Oh, we do it. Yep. It's fine. Only we save a little bit with the that block. Okay. So. Hmm. I don't think this is damage. So I guess uh, we go position control. I should probably online more priorities as well. It says upgrade, upgrade upgrades, anything else in Pro 1, so now we got two, uh, we upgrade the also, yeah, okay, priority, so we go first for the log cards, and then we select something else, which in our case is going to be the wolf's rage, but because this, you can count this as mitigation, I guess this, it's more in line with the holding on to the counter, but yeah, I mean, uh, but this one says damage and block, so. And we keep him away, strikes. Uh, hit upgrade. And now we go for our body party. Yeah, it's gonna work most of the time, because generally, even if. Uh, if you hit other stuff, you usually want at least a couple of parties upgraded, but. We're going to block there. And let's see. And we don't even hit anything else because we're going to counter one and then we're going to post 15, so that's 19. Yep. And everybody's protecting, so. Okay, that's cool. Oh, come on. Everybody's. Okay. I'm gonna, it's fine, I'm gonna do this. Not back. Get it back. Not back. Hit. Uh, set up. And the counter is... It's nice. Uh, yeah, we can set up. 15. I can play this and do some more damage and I got the counter ready to go if I want the next turn so yeah, I'll do it. Yeah, for example we can do this. That this get a kill and we get a counter. Let's see what we got. Mm. Oh, I guess ultimate all I said is uh, it's sustain because it has 10 HP. So. Obviously, you need the injectors, but I uh, choose one out of three cards or just the base damage of back. I mean, I don't give the base damage when attack, making 118. Yep, and if we hit the, that upgrade, we get that upgrade out. One of three, actually, one of three is better. I mean, so yeah, because you got a chance of getting block cards, which you do. I mean, these are phenomenal too, but yeah, again, we're following the plan. And that, one, that actually says block hand damage, so do that. Uh, yeah, max HP is okay. Oh, healing thresholds. Uh, I guess if if you have uh, less than 69 HP and you're gonna fight a champion, then you heal. Otherwise, you know, you draw because this draw is the only option there. 11, 17. So 
We do this because we're gonna have it. Plus we can something. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean... Right. Do it this way. Get it out. Oh, I messed it up. Anyways, doesn't matter, but... this time we could kill it because that means that next turn get even more options All right it says it says block and damage Mm, don't want to remove any non-base cards, it's pretty good right now, so we just go max HP and we hit upgrade, as usual. And if we prefer this, and now you can go either way. Mm, I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm not that worried about energy right now, but you know, the, the, the W version is quite, quite good. We're fighting the hard, so we're gonna follow our plan of not killing multiple things. Uh, oh, maybe it's ah. Yeah, it was, it's definitely a misplay. But yeah, it was definitely a misplay. It's hitting for forty. I mean, I don't hit heal for a lot, but... Yep. Hmm. Yeah, I messed this one up, because I could have just killed... 24, 32, I could just kill this guy, and then get a little bit of momentum and get some, something back, so yeah, that was definitely a mistake. Uh, we do this and play with the... Uh... Eh, it's fine. So Raging Ground needs to go throw extra cards here. It's gonna be 28. Alright, we can kill this guy. Oh. Oh, this is a dangerous one. Okay, we set up like this. Gotta put this one in play. Like this. And this this guy's gonna get scary now because it's gonna gain. Yep. <laughs> yep. Now lucky for lucky for us, we can probably kill it. Uh, we got the counter ready, so we're gonna have to play the objective there. Yep. Oh, that's cool. Alright, we can send the Raging Ground over here, it's gonna die. Uh, yep, it's also just gonna move me, but. Go right this way. Oh, okay, that's cool. I would rather just set up. Alright. And damage is fine. Get one thing. Ah. 
Okay, we'll kill one. Prepare a little bit. Uh, get the counter almost ready to go. So we just do that. That's 23. I can kill it, but now I can kill it next turn too. I mean, I guess they believe I could have taken that into account, but I don't think it's needed. Uh -huh. twenty two thirty two. It's pretty nice. Uh... Mm -hmm. Okay, so we could hit a counter here, but it doesn't make any sense. Naturally, it makes sense. So we kill this guy, I guess. And if this guy almost ready to go. Do we want to kill it? This is plus 17. Uh, so it kills it if I do it this way. This is plus 12. That's 103. That's exactly it also. I'm going to delay that a little bit here. Hmm. <laughs> is over so we can do it this way and then do it this way so then that guy down got the counter almost ready to go okay it's ready to go and we use it I think I'll take a little bit of damage. Oh, actually, no, we don't take damage. Uh, we're looking for pulse. Uh, this has pulse. And how often are we hitting multiple things? That's the thing, we don't have a lot of hits, and we're gonna have even less if we keep removing strikes, but... Yeah, we would probably add a few more, so... Yeah, that's... Hmm. It does say pulse, so we do it. Yeah, we love at least zero cost, one, one zero cost attack, to just... Complement those other stuff that we have in the deck. Yeah, we go. Yeah, that over. Mm -hmm. uh, 1825. Hmm. Hit like that. There you go. And then, yeah, this one sort of has zero edge, so you hit there. I guess there was technically a way where we could uh, not counter and not take any damage, but uh, it seemed like he was gonna give us fortune this, so. 
Yeah. Play that. Get the draw. Get this going. Get one kill. 18. Start working on the other guy, I suppose. Twenty-four. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, we can go this way, and then we can. Okay, I got a block, so. Uh, this leaves then split, so. So this turn, this guy kills that guy. And next turn we got the counter, so this fight is over. Ah, it says guard. Might want to do an audible here just to trigger the the person will win but yeah, it's fine. That's the name of the card, right? Or oh, we'll win something, right? Uh yeah, we'll be still uh, yeah. If it's board removal or component should level up, sure, but you know base are still pretty good. And yeah, no base over race and we go for the extra the stuff in the now we get an attack from the discard pile which is, it's a lot better uh we don't need to heal so i mean we could but removing the device is better and yeah we got double strikes we didn't have three attacks in the so i need to add a little bit more but uh uh, do I do it this way to draw? Hmm. So if I just play all my defense, which is this, this is 21, 36, that's 18, 28. No, I think that this blocks for more, I guess. So we do that. So, I mean, this would be 18, 23 block. Uh, 23 block, and... Hmm. Potentially, that the other one does... This one does... More, maybe, but... We we'll do it this way. Uh, and this one, we want to kill that guy first. Okay. Hmm. Now there is a way to do it, right? So we can we send this guy over there. That's twenty-seven. Right? Then we send this guy over here, and that guy kills that guy. And now we could take two damage, but there's no need. And we'll get in the counter next turn with this, so it's quite nice. Hmm. <laughs> nice. Uh and Definitely want the counter, so it's just a question if I want Wolf Rage. And the answer is yeah, I want it. And the reason is okay, so it's gonna deal damage and it's gonna go away, but this guy only melees and this guy only does range attack and this guy only this melee every 
quite a real love there, so. So it makes no sense, and yeah, Prison World is not doing anything right now. But that's okay. <laughs> Send that over there. We got it, right? Yeah, we did. Nice. Three at once. Yay. 24. Nice. Uh... Plus 40. And not bad. Mm. We don't have energy, so we just it's one of these two. And losing one charge is essentially control, so I need draws as well. With less conditions than Humble Sun, so Yep. Alright, I'm quite happy with that. And we keep hitting upgrades here. And it's either Humble Sun or Duper Deliverance. I think it's gonna be Will Deliverance. Deliverance for the Dolph Retribution is more damage. I we could go block here. But generally we want to draw as well, so. Now, probably the correct move in the because of the way the it's going would be to get one of these body upgrades, but we're not gonna do it. Now we, we can turn I don't think momentum has activated one, so we can just do this. And now we have so you can treat removals as an anti that says throw an extra card every deck shuffle so we're essentially trading one anti quorum for for three anti quorums it's pretty nice uh yeah we don't we don't want to lose these ones anyways now with two of those going away and a 13 card deck and so this goes away this goes away this goes away so it's a 10 card deck but this goes away eventually, so it's a 9 card deck. And this lets us put stuff back in the deck, and we got 2 cards at draw. So that means that quite often we're gonna be able to, you know, hit a bunch of stuff and then get, get an extra, yeah. So. Wait, okay, this one has a kill order. We need to kill this guy first. Because this. Uh, the, uh, in, in this floor, in the next floor, we kill this guy first. So the reason is that this does a multi-hit and this guy essentially uh, yeah, makes makes a reality scale quite a bit, so... Get extra... Yeah, we're gonna take damage, but it's fine. I'm gonna counter. Uh, I guess it's possible to delay the counter, but we don't we don't do enough damage, so So we don't block enough. That's what I meant. And you die. Good for us. Uh, setting up for next turn. Play that because it goes away. This only does range damage. Uh, 11. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do this though. And the next sentence for that, the sentence for that, we're doing damage essentially with those. Oh, I messed it up. Uh, yeah, I messed it up with the blocked. That's okay, you know. Hmm. 
So now neutral makes sense, but Elena Flores is so good with what we got, and again, this doesn't say block, so... I guess if we do this, you can read this as block, but let's be honest. It's not really how that works. So yeah, we just go Elena Flores. And you wanna hit maybe... Oh, we have to remove a card, so... A non-base card. Uh, which is the worst card that we have right now. Hmm. Well, it's tough, because our worst card is probably Rise of Retribution, but he has quite a bit of upside. I suppose Humble Zone is the worst card, so... Even though it draws itself. Because we, we don't want to remove upgrades, and this, it's... Energy combos quite nicely with delay sentence. Uh, so yeah, maybe Humble Zone is what goes. We don't want to remove the non-base cards. Yep. Well. It was it was quite useful. And we keep hitting upgrades here. Alright, alright. Um. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm, I think I'm thinking this. Just get more recursion attacks. Things are a uh, blood card here more often. Yeah, I'll do this. Hmm. So they're gonna run away. It's not for me, but we can go three strikes, right? We can go one, two, three. Go delay sentence for I guess I know flourish makes sense. Body and party, that's 18. Be fair for delay sentence and delay sentence again. Or summary justice, because uh, we prefer that over over knocking stuff back. Because next turn we have inaccurate. Yep. Uh, we only need to we need to block for twenty one, unless we kill. Don't quite kill, but we can block for a lot, anyways. Uh, if we need to, by like just not playing stuff. Like that, 10, 15, if I play this, that this will be 30, and yeah, we're good. And get the counter ready if we need it. It's 32, so... We are at 5. Don't have any hard though, so... Hmm. So we don't really have a counter if we don't do this. Well, we can do it anyways. Uh, am I countering? Oh, am I blocking for everything? The answer is no, but I could. This is 29, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's no reason to counter here. I mean, we're at 5, so I might as well do this. Send you there. Oh, this is free, I guess. Yep. Next turn. Ah. <laughs> uh, I guess we hit this way. Uh. This there, do that. Send them back in. Ah, got some nice combos here. Uh, we go like that. Let's 
place for yourself. Setting up for next turn. I just need to not attack next turn and we're good. And get the counter. Alright. Yeah, things things are going well. And yeah, distance optimizer. Oh, it also power is phenomenal. And you can treat this as a block uh, anti quorum by the way, because so many enemies need to be hit in so many fights. So yeah, it's pretty good. But this is an optimizer. It's also phenomenal. So we don't hit the yeah that thing. Uh, now I said that we should treat removals better here, and yeah, I think this is, that's still true. Uh, and especially since we're not losing companionship, so. uh, yep. yeah, it's quite nice because of that. Otherwise, you don't lose companionship, and we just remove a biting party, and that one probably needs an upgrade, to be honest, over removal. But yeah, we go one on one. Okay, that's pretty nice. It goes both ways, and yep. And it's gonna get, help the prison where we and we don't skip any leads. So. Midax. Midax also have a killing order. This guy needs to die first. That being said, we need to hit this guy so that he deals a lot less damage. So, but we do this. Uh, start working on you. I guess I should have. It didn't need me that so uh okay so definitely wanna do that now do i wanna set up or do i wanna hmm this is 10 so it's 28 that being said this also charges up a little bit that's not nothing is that me that's a pain in the ass All right, all right, all right. Okay, so we can do it this way. Now we can use you to give me something useful, like a delay sentence. Get this. Do that way. This is five twenty-one. This that. Yeah, Mutax Mida needs to go first. Alright, so we go delay sentence. Oh no, I messed it up. Because we can't play it, but it's fine because we, we get a kill there, so. Yeah. And then we can kill. And then it's just a matter of killing something. Pretty much doesn't matter then. What's the order in which you kill stuff as long as you kill them? So we can you like that and Guy over there. Things are moving, things are moving. Uh okay, so this is damage. Uh, we can treat this as increase. Well, technically, this is just increasing her size or block as a retribution. So we go pretty deep as we here. Uh, it's also draw. This is just damage, and this is just never triggering. So pretty deep as it is. And we hit companionship upgrade here because uh, that's what we said. And yep, yeah, I'm happy with this because it has everything. It's a phenomenal card. So. Mm. 
is the abandon. Uh, I mean, this one would want to kill these guys first. Set up. Uh, start working on you, I suppose. I can actually do it this way around. Do that. Do this to delay the counter. Set up. A little flourish for later. Set the stage. And don't want to counter this turn, right? It's 32. Yeah, don't want to counter this turn. So, this doesn't count in this turn. And this, this guy doesn't melee quite uh, as often, but it's fine. We'll be okay, I think. So, we do that. We get a kill. <laughs> With this is 40. Do that. Send that guy back in. Get this. Send that other guy back in. Throw a little bit here. Set the stage. Ah. Mm. Yeah, we're happy. We're happy. Uh, we can do this. I think. Send up again. Get delay sentence back. I guess it doesn't matter because uh, we have manipulation, so we're gonna do it this way and then send the back in. Put this, send the back in. Send it back in. No reason to take damage there. I don't want the counter. I can wait for it if you wanted to, but I mean, let's be honest, it probably doesn't matter at all. Hey, we we don't counter far enough, so we just do this. No. So we, we don't block far enough, so yes, they say. Enough said. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? It's nice. Uh, so the back. Send the back. Send the back. We're moving quite nicely. Okay. That's the boss. Um, uh, yeah, we, we continue to ride the rope propels. No, these are these are okay, but yeah, we want balls. Okay, yeah, it's kind of balls, but not really, because uh, we don't want to get hit, and we don't get hit that often. Uh, still take it, but it's gonna be fine. The choice here. Yeah. Getting hit for a bit. That being said, we can do this. And then we do that. And this, and we get a refund. Oh, great, fair, will deliverance. 
and as blessing for the fair and delayed the fair again. <laughs> All right, let's get that stuff going. Oh, we can counter this turn, which we probably should, because we don't have enough. Oh, that's nice. I should play this. Twenty-three. Okay. No, this is exactly damage, but you know, we can s uh, send it over there and to deal damage. Next turn. Uh, yeah, it's ten next turn. Uh, that was quite nice. This one doesn't really have a order, but I mean you can try to kill the nano smith first just to help my guy, but that's a mess, it's okay. And with an upgrade we could make it also mitigate a little bit, so it's nice. Um Yeah, this has a removal. That's a removal and an upgrade, so that's better than anti bottom I guess. And yep, there is the that's a mess, uh, yep. Very good, very good. And yeah, we get rid of the last one. Now we're at a stage where the moles make very little sense because um we got a 13 card deck. Which is not really a 13 card deck, it's more or less like a one, two, three, four, five. We have five fading, so we have an eight card deck. And we've got delay sentence with less money stay. That's another scenario that I forgot to mention. I want to figure that out. So. <laughs> uh, okay, this benefits from being hit. But we hit. Put that going for us. I guess. 25 is 18 and... Eight plus 18, that's 26. Okay, yeah, we don't wanna... We take a little bit of damage here, right? Yep, one damage. That being said, that's a bit of an issue, but we can fix it by just doing wheel deliverance and doing that. And now we can just send this guy over here. There you go, and then we move forward there. And do this. And you're dead. Price of retribution to delay the counter. Delay sentence to make next turn awesome. This makes the next turn even more. But it's gonna be interesting. Uh, we got a counter there, so that guy's dead. And we could technically kill this guy too, but don't wanna. So set up. Mm. 
Just need to block for a little bit, I guess. Wait, not not. It's. Hmm. All right. So, what do we prefer? I think we'll still breathe. I mean, both violence is also legit. Hmm. Spy violence better. Hmm. This piece of injustice is also very good, but I mean, but we'll simply it just goes away and we hit. Those uh, shard changes quite often, so. Gain one on tick one. Uh, don't get too many of those. I guess when we charge. Hmm. I guess optimal dialyze are good though. It's active inference blocks, and I mean, whenever we change the. So, Dragon Dust is gonna trigger quite often because we have a small deck. So, it's like turn two, it starts piling up. Uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be this guy. Because this blocks for. Not a lot, but this in chunk, I guess. And yeah, we keep hitting stuff here. Like, that this means. Mm -hmm. Well, that cost increase makes a difference now. Yeah. So we go. The must be speech on our bravery card. Mm -hmm. And I think it's gonna be six to the nearest. Remember, we got predictive assembly, so there's a 1 and 3 chance that we get a turn 1. Right. Just need to be careful with this guy. Should be able to do that. Alright, so we change. Mm -hmm. Suppose I set up for the kill. Right. Need to be able to hit that guy because no 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 that was a misplay. Yeah, we hit this guy twice. Don't want that many smites in the deck because this guy scales with that. Oh well. Hmm. Make that one go away, set up. Alright. How much? Okay. 38. It's not attacking this turn, so it's nice for us. That being said, I do have a small issue that. No, we're taking damage. Two damage is acceptable, I guess. And we can counter if we want it. And we definitely want to counter here. <sighs> is it time to just go full hand and just try to. I think so. Oh, wait, wait, ah, oh. oops. Yep, I messed it up. Oops, I messed it up, and I messed it up again. Okay. It's 
definitely a big mistake. Right. Hopefully though, we don't get punished. Don't need a lot of damage. But it's just that turn what I missed that I wasn't gonna be able to counter if I play my Zipar. Other than that, uh, hmm. yeah, we got mitigation. Mitigation is legit. There's also the, you know, the second outlet. Uh, it's cute, you, you get you get very good uh, upside if you find three of them, plus one, plus one hand size. One of three, 30. Okay, so this mitigates, this does both things. This is very good, this does both things, attacks and this damage and blocks. So... <clears throat> I'm leaning. I mean, all those parties also very really good. So all the, all those got like two of those already. So that's important. Is it a dreadful presence or we prevail? We prevail is very good. And, and I mean, this is also very good. So. And remember, we got the uh, we got the delay sentence. It's with it. So the block. Uh, it's devil T. Just need to be careful with devil T, that's all. Yep. Draw a little bit here. Mm. Damn. Can 48. Definitely want to do this. And if I'm being honest, this is get rid of the corruption, so I don't worry about it. And we can do this, and this is gonna block for a little bit. All right, and there it is. Seven damage. Yep, not ideal, but. All right, so. We do this. That way we can do that. Get the fair verdict to get indulgence. What's this? It's nice. Yes. Yes. Huh. Okay, we're already, we're already blocking, so... We're already counting, that's what I mean. Fortunately, we hit a corruption, or... Perfect timing seems better because yeah, it says block and still could use some block. But at the stage that puts it has anchor too, so I guess we'll go for it. Yeah, we say companionship, and this is a great companionship card. So. Although we wouldn't mind upgrading our uh, Amicus. I don't remember the name of the Amicus now. Uh, dreadful presence, okay. Uh, yeah, sure, we do it. I can see, I guess, we're upgrading perfect time, but this, uh, like, uh, this is gonna give us the stuff back. Oh, I need to remove something. Ooh. Oh, I didn't take that into account. Right. Uh, I guess somebody justice should go. I guess it gets for perfect timing, to be honest. He's unupgraded, we just got it, and the deck is moving just 
right don't have quite a lot of uh, yeah energy just yet so now we don't lose HP and here we want to try to kill that guy first but sometimes you can't set up we do we do it this way this and then we send this thing back to the deck and we do this and we get an energy back and we can go the first sentence But alright, we got sustain. It's nice. No, yeah, we won't have some prevention. So that's good, I guess. And we can do this or that. Get this going for us. Get that rolling. Do that. And you're there. Set the stage for next soon. Okay, so all of the stuff joining already. That if we need it. I mean, we can use it. I guess. Of course we do it this way. Go back. Send that back. This to this. guy over there you're gonna die you can heal a little bit more so we just leave it ready right we let the counter it's This also a bug, so just go Benedict Buster Leaf and get the last non base removal, which we don't do because uh, we don't have any removals. Deck is quite, quite streamlined, I guess. And now we could hit an upgrade or company ship. Uh, yeah, Hero's Duty, Hero's Duty is pretty good. I could also see a heal in the last, in the last one. It's like we're gonna show up with what? 200. Uh, this a third of our HP. So. It's like 6. Yeah, it's max HP if we do it. It's the last one, so. Don't have much to lose. Uh, which upgrades we have available? We got Summary Justice. We got. um. Eleven flourish. Those are not ideal upgrades. Like 
we can treat the the heal us a lot more than that right because it's just damage upgrade and like damage upgrade with a bit of up upside so yep no we heal oh companionship my bad that's a very good card though is it better than the heal is kind of that's kind of on par so I'm just gonna try to finish the fight without taking any damage Uh, this one also has a kill order, I guess you should say. Uh, you want to kill the hands, face the killing of the hands to match the the turn where he's doing the 100 damage. So that's all. That's all you need. Mm, I should have probably waited, but okay. So we hit you. Get this thing going. Hit you again. We don't want to kill you though. And do it that way. This is gonna give me double. Set that going for us, and we just set up here. The one that's my plug in the back. That is why I selected it. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I need to be careful here not to kill stuff. If I can avoid it. That being said, it's a bit of. Uh, I guess we can do it this way. Somebody justice. Set it up. And then next turn, the dead. Uh, I could start piling up the, the retribution if I wanted to. Hmm. We do it this way. Oh no, I mess it up. Fine. Okay. Oh, I took damage. Didn't realize that was gonna happen. Oops. Set up for next stage and just kill this. Okay. I mean, we're gonna end up max HP because of this. But... I'll we'll get the counter next turn. We could counter the turn. Just spend the counter, but. Uh, I don't think we want to spend the counter here, though. I think we want to delay it because we got one way or another, right? So, uh, gotta take that into account. So, we go just fading already with that, that way. Do this, send that back in. that way <laughs> and do it this way fifty two okay. Sense to me. Uh, 
Okay, I guess. Six, so we can do this thing and then this thing and then that thing and then and then this and this and it's dead. All right. How you do it now in a crescent run i would have done things a little bit differently but you know i think this this approach works like um okay as a baseline then you can go a lot more aggressive and not just pick all the guard uh but you know if you're having issues just winning you can just try something like this me go and do the transition to this yep Pretty much. 